to which get up that one probably this one then i'm trying to do this whole vlog thing guys i know i know some of you like it some of you hate it but we're giving it a shot regardless i want to listen to you guys uh, i decided i'm probably going to keep her truck get, give it a chance give it a little run with uh, a custom build um, that's more of like a personable vehicle for me blue truck Still on the fence with that. I think we've got an idea of what we want to do with it. But today, there's gonna to be another vlog. Gotta do a couple things with Dad. We're gonna be changing some oil. Gotta run around town a little bit. A couple other small things, but hopefully guys enjoy the video. We can make the most of it to try to give you guys a little piece of entertainment today. So stay tuned, enjoy. Oh yeah, and if you're into super nice, clean and pristine 7.3 Power Strokes, you can win this truck and every $5 that you spend gets you two automatic entries to win and that giveaway ends in literally less than two weeks. So get in while you can because this truck plus $5,000 of cold hard cash could be yours. Man, look at that 6.7. I do love that truck, I gotta tell you guys. It is, uh, it's something else. It's pretty sweet. Let me, let me back up so we can get a little roller of him driving off. Yeah. He's got the new pusher system in it. Yeah, look at all the black smoke. <laughs> guys, we're also gonna try to get a video with that truck today, so hopefully guys enjoy this one. We're gonna get on the road here. We're gonna go grab some brunch here because we haven't eaten yet. Um, dog's got a squirrel treat in the yard. <laughs> He's got a squirrel treat in the fence pole, uh, telephone pole, I mean. But anyways, we're gonna run to the barn, drop this truck off, hop in the car with my mom and my wife. We're gonna go grab breakfast, pick up some oil and some stuff, and get on down the road, and uh, yeah, we got a lot to do today. I do love this truck. It's got it's got a good amount of power. It's not ridiculous, of course. It's just tuned, but it does have a, it's an on-the-fly tuner. I think it's got five settings on it. Um, it's it's great. It runs really really good. Just clocked in over 9,000 miles. I guess since this is my new daily, I can drive it like it's my new daily, right? I do love the way this truck drives. Like, for being a daily driver truck, it's just, it's just right. It's not stupid amounts of power to where it's not usable on, you know, wet roads because it does, you know, snow and rain around here quite a bit. Um, but it's like just enough power to where you've got plenty if you want to work it, plenty if you want to have fun with it. It's just a good, it's, and it's still very fuel efficient all around, a really great truck. It's disgusting. He's literally <laughs> making fun of my oil drain pan. I just bought the, well, I didn't even buy it. I had it. <laughs> I had, had to rewards. buy it looking like this, I, I can promise you I had, I had a. Facebook marketplace. No, I had a rewards <laughs> program with Autism. They're like, hey, well you can get a free oil catch pan. You don't need to buy this. I'm like, oh, okay, so they gave it to me. So anyways, so we're here with two big diesels that both need oil changes. Um, how, how long have you been running your truck since you did your last oil change? How many miles you said? I usually do about between eight and 10,000 with synthetic. But what are you at, 11 you said? I'm about, about 10, actually. 10, okay. Well, hers is at 9,000 miles, and they say you're not supposed to change it except for every 15,000 now with new, with new engines and new oils and all this other stuff, and everything is just newer than it was 25, 30 years ago. But I'm like, I don't know how much I trust this, so even though it's, Still at 9,000 miles, I'm just gonna do it now anyway um, and just get it done because we did kind of decide we're going to keep this truck instead of get rid of it right now and do something else with it. Careful. What's your favorite part of doing the oil change? Is it draining the oil or filling it back up? It's definitely filling it. Why, because it's supposed to be done? <laughs> did you do a new filter? I never put new filters on. Are you serious? Of course not. <laughs> a total joke. Oh yeah, look underneath there, it's nice Where's and shiny. That? Oh yeah, wow. That's where they're supposed to be. Where's mine? Uh, I don't even know where the oil filter is. I'm guessing it's down in a similar spot. I hope it's not like where they used to be. Like Are you serious? Never, they're always up on the side up in the 12, 12 house. I really hope. I really hope this one's easy to get to. I don't even know where my uh Or right stool up underneath is. here. Your stool is at the other barn. What? I've been using you. I, I oh. assume that's your... Sweet, yeah. Taking your ladder. 
I've got to. I've got to see where my. I think it's is. right there, same place. Here, which is ultra convenient. Right down here. If it is, that is stupid. Oh, yep, yep. Nice placement. Well, I got oil all over my freaking hands. I thought I had a good plan. It never works though. Oh, I hate not having my creeper. Okay, so let me show you what we're dealing with here. So, any of you guys that own these tradesmen's, these, uh, not tradesmen's, fourth gens, you'll notice that the filter's right there, which, in theory, it's nice to give you a little hole, but once you get your hand in there, you can't move your hand. That's all your movement. So, I'm gonna try, my dad actually suggested this, um, <laughs> uh, attempt, Oh, I'm doing this. Attempt to take this so long. It's either my good or bad idea. Yeah, we'll see if it's a good idea. But attempt to drive this through the filter and then so I'll have a leverage point to actually rotate it just enough to get it off. And then, of course, since there might be a sharp edge, use the shirt to wrap it and then untwist it. Um, he got his truck done, of course. Almost. He's just he's just topping just off top. his oil. Just topping off the oil. But So that's what we're going to try to do. If it works, cool. If it doesn't, this is going to suck. We've got most of the oil in the truck. The reason we are not putting the full amount yet, we've literally, we're like one half of a quart away from what we're supposed to fully put in, but we want to start the truck up, let it run a little bit because we didn't put any in the oil filter due to the fact that you have to put it in through that little hole in the wheel well and we'd have to tip it on its side and just dump all the oil out anyways. We're gonna let the truck idle for, how long you think? Two minutes, two, three minutes and then uh, check the dipstick and go from there. Ah! Oil change is done. Truck looks good, runs good, and here's the only pet peeve that I have, like issue that I have with the way this oil filter is located in this truck, other than it being hard to get to, is it makes you look like you've got an oil leak for probably the first three or four days of driving the truck after your oil change because of the cross member plate thing up there. You can see what I'm talking about there, right? Okay, right there, that plate catches all your oil and it holds tons of it just on that and it'll just randomly drip down throughout under the truck because it catches all over that cross member. It's really weird. I don't, I don't like that um, just because of the fact that it would be nice if they had some space for it to properly drain out of the cross member to where it can be cleaned up and done with versus like just draining everywhere. Because if you look at like my dad's truck under here, he's actually working on it right now. His oil filter's right there. There's no cross members, there's no plates, there's no anything to catch all your excess oil that drains over. Therefore, when you're done, it's actually clean and done. He's also got a little lever on his oil pan. If you see that, I can show you that right here. It's actually really, really nice. I remember the first time I changed his oil for him and uh, didn't have that. Basically, when I undid that, it just shot, because it's on the side of the pan, so it just shot this oil all over the shop. Amazon, like, Easy Flow, I think it's called, right? Yeah, something like that, but every, it was all over the shop. It was a mess. I'm like trying to mop it up, clean it up. I'm like, how are you supposed to do this without making a mess? It's just like brace yourself, because it's, it's just going to be an absolute nightmare. Oil change is done on both the big black beast, the big white beast. We're good to go. Even though an oil change is such a simple thing you gotta do, it's just so, like, when you're done, you just have the satisfied feeling of like, wow, okay, we're good for a few more months. What we're doing right now is just going for a little drive with the pusher setup under the hood of the 6.7. Those of you who saw that setup from a couple videos back, if you didn't, go check it out. The full video is just on that. But if you wanna check it out, go do it. And this video might make more sense to you. First off, what are the things that you noticed that you've told me from what it, how it used to run to now? It's number one, my boost gauge would hardly ever move unless we had like a trailer if I was jumping on it. Now I can see that that boost gauge is even just a little bit of throttle and you can see how that boost gauge is, is uh, jumping quite a bit more, so that's pretty cool. And then I can hear the turbo whistle a lot more, which I'm a fan of. Yeah, who doesn't like a little bit of turbo whistle? Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> you grabbed it with the other hand. <laughs> He's like, grabbed it with his other hand. <laughs> How fast are we going there? Hey, I'm at 40 and I was freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't drive in the truck a lot, so it's hard for me to fully understand the difference because it's not a truck I drive every day. Um, but I guess the biggest thing you're gonna notice, if you ask me, would probably be lower EGTs, faster spooling because you have more airflow getting where it needs to be faster, and then just of course your turbo note. Not that that turbo note makes power, but it's a good sound, and who doesn't like that? A lot of that stuff that you want. Let's see if it's got any pixie dust. trucks they've come a long way oh, yeah. <laughs> they've come a long way outside exhaust note I think sounds pretty freaking gnarly it's crazy so you're happy with it like that's what I'm getting at I am very happy with it yeah I couldn't be happier it, well unless I had another turbo on it perhaps <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna pop the hood again for you guys though, for the people that haven't seen it. Um, I guess I'll just have him pop the hood. It's very windy, so hopefully this picks up okay. Looks very, very good. Performs even better. Very, very windy out here, so I was gonna try to do this video in front of the Ford. However, it's so windy that I don't think you guys will be able to hear me if I do that. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, these vlogs, this change up in content, trying to post every single day again, and just filming little tidbits of everything that we kind of have going on and actually getting it on camera for you guys versus just doing one specific thing and then that being the end of it. Anyways, guys, thank you so much. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Smash that thumbs up. Don't forget to enter to win that 7.3 power stroke over there with $5,000 cash because you're down to the last 14 days and every $5 will get you two automatic entries to win that truck with five grand and that could be a life-changing opportunity for you because we've got to give it to somebody. Might as well be you. Thank you guys so much. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.